you have to see her, it's funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> and the first two series. Yes. This is for the some sort of influence we had. Our own input was just, you know, yeah. And we used to have long conversations by the pool when we weren't working. And uh, he seemed to have come to terms with life in a very good way. I found him a very wise man, and I have very fond memories of him. I'll second that. I'll that. <coughs> yes. He was, he was a very shy man. Yes. He was a very, very private man. Yes. And he used to get over it by being funny and doing jokes. Yes. It was like he was actually playing Doc. He was Patrick Trafford playing an actor, playing Dr. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And I worked with him so briefly that it was, it was lovely to see such humility and such an experience in the actor. Yes. Yeah, it's 
sometimes that's what Sadie says. She she loves it. I, I mean, I just let her choose what. She she just she's I just I don't I don't like the new one. I like the old one. Very good taste, your child. <laughs>
terribly cold or whatever. Um, and remembering the people who were involved. Wonderful people who used to come and be in the uh, I, for myself, I look because I realized just the other day that apart from Nicholas Courtney, I'd technically be in more episodes than anyone else, uh, and with more doctors. <laughs> I was with William Hartman two weeks before he died. And I never sat with people die at that kind of age, meaning, you know, the, the time hasn't come. So, yeah, and he had a couple of them. Uh, and I did Pat Trouty because I was invited. The reason I got Pat Trouty was so serious is because I used to make a laugh on the dish. I, I'm actually, you know, they actually said, well, I'm John the Bean, you know, you make a laugh. And uh, so I did the Yeti and the Cyber thing. And it was Douglas Campbell with the Bean. Uh, it was uh, Douglas, Douglas Campbell. Uh, yeah. Well, now he adopted me. I, he had written me in his will what they call secondary work, be one of his kind of pole bearers when he died. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, that sounds, but, he, but he, I was one of his favorite people, all because, all because back in the days when I was done at Riverside Studios, I had gone up to Douglas Campbell as an extra and said, how does one become an actor? He said, you either have to have natural ability, and of course being, this, you know, I naturally thought I don't have that, or you go to the drug school. And it turns out that I have natural ability. And he had gone to Barry Lynch, which I actually found out last year, and said, I want John Levine as Corporal Benton in Invasion. So all the time you're struggling to survive, there was this amazing director, and went, and went out and said, I want John Levine. And I just can't. And of course, when he died, it was dreadful, because I was ill at that time. I'd lost my family overnight, and I was gone down, and I was skinned as a rape. And I remember carrying, I'm not saying this to be serious, because I'll make it funny, but we got to the funeral, and you know, I rushed about so quickly. I got to the funeral before people died. Um, <laughs> And I got to the funeral, the whole of the BBC turned out, and the four people he'd like all through his acting career, there were two stuff men, myself and a friend who looked after his son. And I subsequently became so sorry a father to his son, and I'm very glad I did so. But when I carried up, because I was just very ill myself, and I was skin bone, and I never forget it, there was a the guy from the Undertakers, was a little east end, a little east end, and he's one of those guys that repeated everything twice, everything twice. <laughs> now I went up and I said, I've never carried a coffin before. And he stood and tried and pet in his seat.